Hi friends and welcome back to a new video. I have finally decided to take up the courage and speak to you directly in the camera. I firstly want to say thank you all very much for watching my videos over the last year and for following the progress of the paint by numbers that I've did. In today's video I will finish the spring paint by numbers that I did and started in the month of April. I hope you have enjoyed it and um, have fun watching this video. Alright, so let's get the kit ready. I hope you're all doing okay and are ready for a new painting session. As you can see, I've made a lot of progress over the last week working on this canvas and we are just about to finish it off today with the black background. Um, which wasn't too much fun to paint, but it goes super quickly. I will be able to finish it today. I'm using these two brushes, one with the pointy end from the kit, and the other one is the biggest brush that came with this kit. I've been thinking about using the bigger brushes, but they don't really fit in the pot, and it actually surprisingly goes really quickly with um, this size brush. Yes, so I'm using uh, this one that I bought from Amazon for the edges because it gives me really nice control and that's what we need around the edges and then I fill it in with the flat one um, that comes with the kit. So what did you think of the introduction and me speaking to the camera directly? I'm still very new to it so I'm trying my best but I was quite I was quite nervous actually. I have been wanting to try this for quite some time now as uh, last week was my um, one year anniversary and thank you all for um, of YouTube. <laughs> one year anniversary of YouTube and thank you all for your really nice messages. But yeah, I've been thinking about it a lot and but I never got the courage to actually do it. Um, but today I was like, we shouldn't get fear stop us from doing fun things and from growing because I think it was always a natural step, right? From painting um, videos like this to then um, speak more directly to the camera. And it's part of the learning curve for me, like as a YouTuber, I think it has worked great. Also, I think now that it will help me to grow as a person and in a way that we shouldn't worry or care about what other people think of us. Um, that's not helping us in any way and actually I um, like the videos of Ali Abdil, I don't know if I pronounced that correctly, I'm sorry if I don't, but he also um, says like if you want to give tips for starting YouTube and making videos and such and productivity, um, but he was saying like people don't actually care, right? People are so busy with their own lives that they won't judge you or they don't, you make it much more worse in your head that people are going to judge you. But actually in reality, everyone is so busy with their own lives these days that they're not going to judge you. Which is something when I thought about it, I have actually experienced already. When I started this channel, I told some family members and friends that I'm now doing this, um, doing paint by numbers and I'm recording it and putting it on YouTube and stuff. And they were like, why? Because <laughs> um, they don't know me as a very creative or artistic person. As you know, before I started this hobby, I hadn't picked up a paintbrush in like forever since I was like a kid. So they were like very surprised and they were like, why would, why? It's not something they had associated with me. But they watched a few videos and that's it. They, I don't think they're watching it at the moment or some are, some not. 
and they just move on with their life. Yeah, everyone is busy with their own uh, life, and they they don't obsess or um, judge you constantly. So it's just mostly in your head that you think that people will judge you, and that's limiting us from doing great things. I think we should also apply this mentality to our paintings. If you are happy with the painting, don't let anyone else tell you otherwise. And equally, don't be afraid of what other people think. And your painting is great. Even if it's a paint by numbers, it's still an original painting that you made. And it looks awesome. So don't let yourself be talked down. And be proud of the work that you have finished. You know, it. they are gorgeous paintings. I know you, they are. So don't worry and do not try to like make it perfect because we are looking so closely upon the painting that you can always see some mistakes and I make mistakes like when I added this black border there were some times that I was like oh I went into the flower and I lost a bit of the flower here and there and I don't I do not mind because when you look nobody will know except you so you have to let it go if that makes sense and you have to be proud of the work that you're doing and do not worry about what other people will think of it and I'm fully aware it's easier said than done because it took me a long time as well and I still have it it's not I, I can't say that it's completely gone I'm just baby steps right all little steps and um, it's a journey. All right, enough of this. Um, I hope it will help you a little bit, I guess. And I am making progress myself and that's great. That's the goal, right? Um, and this painting is finally finished, you guys. Or almost, I'm just doing the final bits now. I have really enjoyed it. I almost finished it in the month of April. I needed another week, which is still really, really quick for me. So on Monday, uh, it was bank holiday Monday here in the UK. And the weather was quite terrible, lots of rain and stuff. So it was perfect weather to be inside. And I really did a lot of painting and I enjoyed it very much. And... The rest of the week, however, it was crazy busy with work and also with family and stuff. So I make my videos the same day or a day in advance. I do not have a backlog of them and I like it that way because um, then it's more it feels more relevant. Like I'm painting it exactly at the same day, the same week and not like... A month in advance. Downside however is if work or other things get busy then I did not have a video to upload. I've done a lot of painting I just didn't have time to make the actual video and therefore I'm really really sorry that there was no upload on Thursday. Um, I will speed up the video now so you can actually see me finishing this painting today. Um, so yeah, a little time lapse right now. In this way I can paint so quickly, it's really nice to see. <laughs> um, yeah, it's great. The, I really enjoyed painting this, but equally I'm very happy that I finished it. I am not the biggest fan of this black background, as it does look a bit stripy and yeah, not the biggest fan of black in general. I might have preferred it to stay white, but then, yeah, I did me, I did to follow it, and I just <laughs> filled it on with, in with black. All right, so finished. Great, I'm so happy, and thank you all for watching me and these videos on this journey, and hit the thumbs up button if you like it and 
subscribe to see which paint by numbers I will be working on next. Thank you, bye bye!